oh, their kids are going to love this. I mean, the fact that they do the VR at home all the time with their friends and incorporating this in the classroom, they're not even going to know, like, what's happening. You know, this is very, very cool to, like, bring their interest into the classroom and engage them in this way. We are training about 300 teachers across grades 7 to 11 math and science. They're learning about the VR hardware, how to utilize it, how do you, what does a 3D graphing calculator look like, what does a 3D interactive graph look like, what does a 3D annotation tool look like. So it's now a whole new set of natural interfaces and they're learning how to use those natural interfaces. students are just sitting, they tend to get jittery, but when they're physically moving around, their brains are activated a lot more. And that's gonna help them to be engaged with that content. I was having a ton of fun just learning how to interact with this stuff, and I almost forgot that I was doing a math problem. I was this kid that needed something like this, something to engage my mind, and so all I'm seeing through this is just the potential for kids to be engaged further, really grasping onto the material in a different way than they maybe haven't before. And my rule is if I'm having fun, students are usually having fun too, so I think they're gonna really buy in. We're gonna get those students that are the ones that put their heads down. I think that's what I'm looking forward to the most. It really does leave you in awe of how incredible this can be for the students. It's cool new technology, but also to have kids put the headsets on and actually engage in the material that we're giving them, where they're learning for themselves, uh, is going to be monumental.